What do you think the importance of this exchange is? Number one, to create new relationships with people. Like I said, bonding. It's like I'm living in a dream and then the kids came together, everybody's so excited and it's so interesting to see that they actually truly bond when they're talking hockey together. It's, it's amazing. Hockey Cares has brought together players from Oakville and Attawapiskat First Nation. And for these kids, it's about much more than just hockey. They get a chance to come down here, see what life is down here, and we get to go up there and see how they live up there. The biggest part of it is us all being able to play together. Hockey Cares is all about playing together, learning from each other, and we're using hockey as a catalyst to form those relationships. And that goal got the attention of none other than Gord Downey. We must walk down a path of reconciliation. Gord and his brother Mike started the Downey Wenjack Fund last year in honor of Cheney Wenjack, an Indigenous boy who escaped a residential school and died while trying to walk 600 kilometers home. I just think it just gets you right in the heart, and it did for me the very first time I heard this story. I am a stranger. The fund is focused on cross cultural education to support healing and recovery. And this Hockey Cares Exchange is the first to receive a grant from the Downey Wenjack Fund. And the possibility of Gordon Downey himself visiting the teams during their stay has really got them excited. It would be great. I would die. No, I would. That. You can't even think about it. I can't. It's great to have Canadian heroes down there and participating in programs like this. And while the kids from Attawapiskat are having a great time with their new friends, they were a little apprehensive about speaking on camera. The coach says this exchange is invaluable. It's a good experience uh, to learn from each other, like especially when you're living out, uh, coming, coming from an isolated remote community and you don't hardly get a chance to go out and experience what's out there. The kids from Oakville will head up to Attawapiskat in November. In Oakville, Audra Brown, City News.